Let's say you've grown comfortable with photography. You've learned about the exposure triangle and have taken a fair amount of pictures too. Now, you want to broaden your horizon. There are many cameras in the market with bleeding edge technology and different purposes. So which camera should you upgrade to? To find out, stick around and let's find the top 5 cameras for professionals. Coming up next is a camera that received the seal of approval from Netflix as the best video camera in the market. You don't see that every day, but the Panasonic Lumix S1H is the camera of choice for Hollywood. Suppose you're looking for the next best video camera to switch to. In that case, the S1H might satisfy your cravings with its extensive collection of shooting resolutions, built-in stabilization, anamorphic shooting, and dual native ISO. When recording footage with this video-centric camera, you can choose between 6K 24fps, 4K 30fps, 4K 60fps, and the list goes on. The best part is that you don't need to crop your footage at these resolutions, but you could utilize the Super 35 mode to pack in more information if you wanted to. In addition, you can export footage from all these shooting modes with 10-bit color, giving you more flexibility during post-production. And finally, the best part is, you can use anamorphic lenses with this camera while utilizing the entire sensor, resolution, and 10-bit color space. You're getting multiple recording modes too, along with built-in color profiles. You can choose between Cine like Gamma, Vlog, and even shoot HDR content through this camera. When shooting in Vlog, you get 14 stops for adjusting the dynamic range. You can choose all these from a pretty straightforward menu with ease. Overall, not many cameras get the seal of approval from Hollywood, and with all the features and capabilities, it's only natural that the Panasonic S1H gets that. So, if you're a cinematographer looking to get in the enthusiast scene, then this camera is hard to beat. The next camera on this list is for low-light photographers. The Nikon Z6 II refreshes the older Z6 model and brings new features making it a fantastic camera for low-light photography. It's a 24.5 megapixel full-frame camera and utilizes the PCI CMOS sensor. Using the APS-C format, you can shoot 4K at 30fps and when using the entire sensor, you'll get around 60fps. With a class-leading image sensor, you can expect bright and sharp pictures. This camera comes with a new function called multiple exposures. In this mode, you can combine up to 10 exposures into one single image. Besides that, the 900S shutter speed allows you to take long exposure shots for an extended time. Furthermore, with the new focus shift feature, you can take a series of pictures at different focus points and combine them all in one image. Thanks to the new high ISO feature, you take better long exposure shots with this camera, letting you shoot at 200, 4000 and 800 ISO. In addition, using it with the built-in 5-axis image stabilization will result in even better low-light performance. Now, you can take burst shots in low-light scenarios with this camera, giving you the ability to shoot up to 5 FPS. In addition, with the introduction of Wide Area AF, you can now narrow down the focus area, so you're getting better focus and tracking performance. Overall, the Nikon Z6 II might not be the best in class, but still, if you're into low-light photography, the image stabilization, autofocus features and higher ISO capabilities, this camera will help you achieve those. Next up on our list is the Canon EOS R5. Whether you're trying to shoot sports or portraits, this is the best camera for stills. The camera packs a 45 megapixel full-frame dual pixel CMOS sensor, but what sets this camera apart is not the largest sensor, but its autofocus. It comes with a dual pixel to autofocus that utilizes machine learning to continuously track and focus better. So, whether you're shooting birds or models, you're getting the clear and sharp image every time. Focusing on stills performance, the largest sensor means that you're getting far more detailed pictures, better noise performance, even at higher ISO settings. So, go off in the dark and take photos without worry. Even when shooting in JPEG, there are fine details and a good amount of sharpening, and the result is just crisp, clear, and vibrant. The R5 can record 8K at 30fps. While that's a common trait, what's not typical is the amount of details you get in that footage. Not only that, but you can also shoot HDR, making your videos look true to life. 
the autofocus system is not available when recording, so the results are sharp and shake-free footage that you will fall in love with. Coming up next is the Panasonic Lumix G86, the best camera you can get for cinematography. Now, you might be asking, how does a micro four-third camera get placed among full-frame cameras? The answer is, regardless of the small sensor, the Lumix G86 puts out the same level of performance as a full-frame camera. It's the micro four-third camera packing a 25 megapixel sensor. You'd be amazed how fantastic this camera is for cinematography. In fact, Panasonic made the G86 a video-first hybrid shooter. The G86 packs parallel readout capabilities, giving it a stellar performance even at a higher ISO. When you're shooting with the ISO cranked up, both of the parallel output paths combine to take the photo, and you end up with better highlights and find more details in the shadows. Need to take a high-res photo? How does 100 megapixel sound? With the G86, you can take handheld 100 megapixel images, which also counts for moving objects. Need to shoot in a high ISO? Afraid of the noise? That won't be a problem with this camera, as it incorporates 2D and 3D notch reduction technology to give you greenless photos and videos even with the ISO pushed to the max. With the G86, you can shoot up to 5.7K at 60fps. When shooting 4K, you're getting 120fps. Need more fps? Step down to 1080p to get 240fps. Still not enough? In VFR mode, you can get a stellar 300fps. All of these formats and more are available in 10-bit 4x2x2 sampling. Wanna try shooting anamorphic? No need to invest in a filter since the G86 comes packed with it, and it's using the full sensor for that. Lastly, all thanks to the internal cooling solution, you're getting unlimited shooting time in 4K 60fps. Overall, the Panasonic G86 is the best camera for cinematography. So, if you're a filmmaker, getting this camera will be a no-brainer. Coming at number 1 is the Sony A1, one of the best hybrid cameras that can truly do it all. The latest flagship camera from Sony comes with a 50 megapixel stacked full frame sensor capable of shooting bursts at 30 fps. Thanks to the stacked sensor, you're getting more details and vibrance in every shot, even when shooting in JPEG. The raw performance is even more impressive, capturing more information than ever. That means, whether you're shooting raw or JPEG, you're getting more details and far better dynamic range. Focusing on the autofocus side of the things, the A1's performance is in a league of its own. Whether you're shooting fast-moving objects, birds, or your friends, the autofocus will keep up perfectly. So, if you're recording your kids running around or that exotic bird in your backyard, the real-time autofocus will keep up, detect its size and face, and deliver the best footage. Speaking of footage, let's talk about the A1's video performance, and it performs well beyond its competition. You're getting 8K 30fps and 4K 120fps. Besides the higher frame rate, you're also getting far more detailed footage, and thanks to active stabilization, those recordings will be shake free. Overall, the Sony A1 is the best hybrid camera you can get today. Enjoy the best of both worlds, indoors or outdoors, with this camera. So, that was all about the top 5 cameras for professionals just for you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.